the thing is... I'll at least do it today. What kind of person put the fence here so you need to squeeze through there? What kind of place do we live in? Look at this hole. Ay, ay, ay. So whenever in my life I went somewhere, like ever, 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 <laughs> somebody took care of all my documents and now I have to do that myself. And I just went to the agency and asked like the dumbest questions. Everybody probably thinks that I'm a bit, um, how do you say that? I'm not capable to do the smallest research and things, but I got the information I needed the most. So that's something in a way of a progress. I'm almost proud of myself, no matter how stupid I turned out to be. I was having a whole hour till my class starts, so I want to check out when can I get a new phone. I mean, like, what else you need? What else? <laughs> what? like all what you even need to get it and they say everything's fine and you know they explain me what is basically written on the internet but sometimes you can't understand everything they write on the internet so i did that successfully and my aunt is coming soon and she was thinking like she wants some new scots because she's sick and tired of the old ones and we're going to the seaside so I got her some new skirts. I mean, I have to make them myself, but I got some really, really great fabrics. Like, I got this tropical beauty of colors and flowers and summerish. Then I got dreamy blue fabric with butterflies. They are so huge. I don't know if it's possible to see them, but these are supposed to be butterflies' wings. So beautiful. And last but not least, something really special. I just couldn't walk by. It's this little spotty thing it's like grayish a bit see-through if you wear it over your swimsuit i don't think that's the problem at all and it has these pretty spots and this is all elastic and therefore it's like really comfortable for summer i have like three dresses like this and you can make them in like two hours you just need to calculate how long they have to be but seriously you make them like by the way and they are so good because they're elastic you don't have to really get a special form you know they just stretch over your body and they're always going to fit you whatever is going to left i'm probably going to turn it into a dress for me because going to the seaside you know new holidays new outfits that's how it works right it's so hot but the weather is actually cloudy it's cloudy it's like gray cloudy yeah, yeah, 27. Here is like, here is like 29. Like, but it's in the car, so it's like super hot, I suppose. So I found this lazy cat. So lazy. Okay, the temperature raised all the way to 30. So I tried real hard, well not really hard because that would be like the first time ever, but I tried and I've made this. This is one skirt, it is short one and the colorful one, and then I made another skirt, the blue one and a bit longer one, and I'm up to making that grey dress with dots, but it's still in two pieces, so I have like the upper part and the lower part, but I still need to put them together, so use your imagination. My aunt arrived today and she brought me this beautiful, colorful scarf, which is the only alignment we have in this rainy, 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 very, very rainy weather that we have for so long. It's supposed to be summer, but it's just raining every day. It's not even that warm, like, you have to go out in cold, and it's the middle of July, so that's really frustrating. And Therefore, I just love this scarf because the color is such vivid and it's even sparkling, look. And this is like the only colorful thing <laughs> beside the beautiful fabric that I bought. She also got me chocolate because what fly without chocolate? And this one is vegan, but it's with lemon and cardamom. I have no idea what it is. 
I just know it's good. So you see, that's a challenge. Be a vegan and tasty at the same time. That's amazing. I'm not a vegan, of course. Can you imagine missing out on all those amazing tasty things? <laughs> Never. And she also got me this super pretty box, which says, you look lovely today. And I was like, eee, this is so pretty. And then she was like, Oops, I got it the wrong box. You were supposed to get the other one. But she let me keep it because I was like, no, I was so happy that box complimented me. So I have this super cute little box and I really have no idea what you put in box like this. I'm trying to think of what you do with people or get from people that tells you you look lovely today. Whenever someone say to me, like, you look lovely today, I'm like, Oh really? Well, I always look lovely. <laughs> so it's like really the meanest thing you can do when somebody gives you a compliment, I guess. But seriously, if compliments would be dollars, I would be sunbathing on this beautiful sandy beach on my own private island right now, instead of looking at this ugly weather. So, but I think the box is still very useful. <laughs> It's a shiny tree.